Okay, so I realize it's been a hot minute since I uploaded anything and a lot has changed. Um, we have moved. We moved out of my father's house into our own apartment. First apartment ever. Um, and you know how I was having so many problems with my school papers and stuff? Well, it didn't turn out to even matter because they finally got back to me and apparently they didn't have the classes that I needed to take to finish my degree. Um, so, <laughs> I transferred to a different institution and I am currently walking to go get some coffee because I'm here until six o'clock tonight. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so small update for everyone. I'll go further into detail here in a minute. All right. Okay. So it's the next day after that last clip and yes, my hair looks crazy right now. We're just gonna, we're gonna roll. We're gonna roll with it. Okay. Um, so let me explain a little bit about what happened here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so we had moved into my dad's house. Um, we moved in with him and my stepmother and, um, things were great for, um, a little while. Um, and then, um, about two weeks into us living there, uh, my dad and I got into an argument where he tried to kick us out. Um, so I took it upon myself in that moment to go ahead and apply for income-based housing, government housing, section eight, the projects, some people call them, whatever. And I applied for it in the county that my college is in. Um, so, um, all that stuff about, like, me trying to get paperwork together for college, them not being, you know, them not being open and stuff like that, that was for the college that, um, was located in the same county as my father, but then it turns out that the college that I was going to go to, um, they said I would just be spending unnecessary money to go there because, um, I guess that they only had a couple of classes left for me to get my associates. Um, and I would still have to take even more classes than that just to get the credits to be able to be credible to, to graduate from there. So they said, well, what do you want to do? And I was like, I'm wanting to get my bachelor's. And they were like, well, you can just go ahead and like transfer to a four year and get your bachelor's. So I'm back at the original university that I was attending when I graduated from high school in 2010. Um, and I love this university. I love the university I'm at now. And I was there for about a semester or, um, no, I was there um, for a few months whenever we got the call that um, there was an apartment available for us. And we were like, well, we don't have the money to get it because it was like $400 down. And it was rough and we were sad. And um, But I just kept driving back and forth. It was like an hour and a half away from where I was living with my dad to go to school Tuesdays and Thursdays and so um we just kind of were sitting there for a while and then things kind of started getting bad over where we were living with my father and I won't go into graphic detail about it because it's not really anybody's business but hurtful things were said um there was just a lot of things that you know weren't working out and I, I'm I've said it before two families under one roof is really hard to manage and it's I know some people can do it but I my family unit like me and 
my husband and my son, I feel like it's not anybody's place to tell us what we need to do or how we need to improve as a family. Unless you are like someone who is not attached to the situation at all, like as in you're not related to me and you're not my best friend, like you don't know anything about our situation, like I don't feel like it's your place to tell me how to manage my family. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you're a licensed professional, I'm going to listen to your advice all day long. But if you don't know, like, you, you, you know what I mean? Like, this is not going to make any sense. It might make sense to some people. But, um, things were just getting bad. And it got to a point where, um, it just wasn't, a, it wasn't a good environment for anyone to be in at that point. Not just like us, but like for them, they needed their own space. And it got, as the months went on, went on, it got worse. Um, and I could tell that they just kind of wanted their own space back. They like, I just knew, I could sense it. Like, you know, so we moved out. Um, we, we got the call that the apartment was ready and we were like, well, we don't have the money, but then they're like, oh, okay, well, then we're going to have to put you down at the bottom of the list again. So then about a month and a half later, um, we got the call again and they were like, hey, we're just going to double check with you. Make sure that you really don't want this apartment. And we had just gotten our tax money back. So we were like, well, we're at a position where we can do it. Like, and they told us, well, you're either going to have to go ahead and do it or we're going to have to take you off the list completely. So we feel like this is our only chance. This is like, this is like what we need to do. But we knew that my dad and his wife would not be happy. Um, you know, when there's a child involved, my child, it's never going to be a fun conversation to have that, hey, we're moving out because that removes the grandchild from the situation. Um, and I know that's sad. I know. But I mean, we, we got to a point where we needed to be on our own. We just did. And I mean, every, every, every couple gets on that point where they just need to be on their own. Um, and we weren't trying to be sneaky about it. We weren't like going behind their back or anything. Like we were trying to figure out how to tell them and they were like, okay, well it's a fast process. So like, um, you come down here, you sign the paperwork, you get, you give us the money, you go get your utilities turned on and then we give you the keys. And it's that quick. Like it, it was that fast. And we were like, whoa, okay. Um, so the day that we went down there and we signed the paperwork and everything, we were sitting there like, well, how are we going to tell them? Turns out I have the find my friends thing activated on my phone and my stepmother had my location. And so she knew um we were gonna make it like a celebration to like try and lighten the blow and like it just <laughs> uh, didn't work out because she found out and um she didn't tell my dad so we got a cake and everything and like celebrated um and then some stuff happened and um an argument ensued about some some things um and you know uh, the only regret i have is engaging in the argument that's the only regret i have um when somebody's angry at you and screaming at you and you just need to walk away you just need to walk away don't engage that person because they're saying things out of a position of anger and hurt don't ever respond to anger with more anger and more hurt. That is never a good thing. Um, but anyway, so all that happened and, you know, it, I know it'll blow over eventually. It still hurts, but it'll blow over eventually. And I know it will. I know it will. It's just going to take some time. Um, but we are moved in. To our own apartment, our first ever apartment. We are so happy. We are so excited. Oh my gosh. And everybody has been so nice. And like people have donated stuff to us because <laughs> we're broke. And um, 
we've never lived on our own before so all we literally had was the beds and our tvs and that's it um so but i mean we have pretty much everything and i'm not done decorating yet but i'm getting there and i'm really excited and this is really fun and you know it's um it's <laughs> It's scary too because now it's like this is a commitment this is a commitment you know but um I hope you guys are excited for me I'm excited for me we're you know I'm, I'm ending the semester here in May and then after that like I have two more years till I graduate with my degree and I'm pretty excited about it I'm pretty excited about it. All my classes are going great, so I know that this is my my field. It was meant to be. I just know it was meant to be. Anyways, um, that's it for now. I can hear my kid waking up. So um, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Okay.